Good morning, riding trip fans. It's Stacy on May the 2nd, wishing you a wonderful spring. It's nice. Finally, we have some spring weather here in New York, and I can't get enough of it. So anyway, for today, I wanted to chat for a couple minutes about a point that at the we at Active Riding Trips think is very important, and that is the fact that we actually go and check the trips that we offer before we offer them. And it's important to us, uh, and I'm not sure if it's important to you. I, I guess part of this is a question whether or not you find value in this, but it's important to us because we need to know that the trips are meritorious of your time and your money, frankly. That the horses are good, that the scenery is fun, that the guides are competent, that you will go and come back thinking that it was one of the best weeks of your life and you couldn't get enough and that, oh my gosh, when am I gonna do that again? The other reason that we do it though is because when we go check things out, we're doing all the things that you're really not supposed to do. So we are not the ideal client and we are asking the questions that are inconvenient we are you know moving out uh in front of the guide maybe trying to pass people on the trail when you shouldn't be doing stuff like that uh, we're, we're sort of the bad client just to see how the horses react if we get corrected for it how other people handle it so we're sort of testing all of those things we are going into the accommodations we're looking under the bed we're looking behind the toilet i mean we want to see so that when we talk to you all about a trip we can say yes this place is absolutely superb all the i's were dotted all the t's were crossed or we can say Yes, this place was fine. It's not the Taj Mahal, and it's it's a little shabby chic, but it's it's you know the beds are comfortable, the food is tasty, uh, it's safe. We also want to test things like you know what's it like to get there in terms of travel. How easy is it? So we will do the things like take a train, take the bus, rent a car. We will, uh, you know, sometimes organize transfers. You know, I can tell you a million stories about all of the times that things didn't go the way that they should go. And all of that is, is not just research for us, but it's really research that we try to share with you so that we can say, listen, if you go, this is what we did, this is how it works, this, you know, you have that option. Here are some things that could happen, and if they do, you know, here's what you should do. So all of that is just to say that there are certainly lots of other options out there besides active riding trips for booking a riding vacation. And they offer, in some cases, rides that we don't offer. And there's generally a reason why we don't offer rides in, in certain places or even in certain countries where we offer other rides. So I, I'm just saying to you all this morning that you know we try to offer uh, our expertise with the rides that we do choose. We are here to answer your questions about those rides, but also about other rides. So for example, in Ireland, there's probably a dozen other rides out there that are on the market that we do not offer. It's not to say that I haven't been there, that I haven't seen them, met the people, but there's a reason that we don't offer them. So if you opt to take one of those other rides, please feel free to use us, and myself in particular, Stacy, as a resource for that. I will happily share my thoughts with you about what I liked, what I didn't like, what I know, what I don't know. I'm the first to say when I don't know something. Uh, but, you know, at least at that point, you can understand what we feel or what I feel if you reach out to me directly about those things. Because, you know, we are really proud of the rides that we do offer. And we are proud of delivering the experiences that we deliver. So for us, it's important that, that we have done it the way you will do it that we've experienced it the way you're gonna experience it. And if you experience it in a different way, and particularly in a negative different way, 
we're going to take that concern very seriously and stand behind it and find out what happened. Even if it involves getting on a plane and going back and face to face checking out what's happened. So that doesn't happen very often. It's probably happened three times in the last 15 years uh, of, of being involved in this business. But we're serious about it on your behalf. And I feel like it's important. I don't intend to change that with the way this company is structured. But I'm curious if it's important to you, uh, just, just idly curious. So if you get a chance, post a comment in the video and let me know. Just no, no harm, no foul either way. And also just know that we are here and I am here as a personal resource on any other trips that you might be interested in or destinations of interest. If we don't have it, I'll, I'll certainly chime in and or possibly recommend to you people that do have it that I would trust with your time and your money. So anyway, wishing you a wonderful Wednesday. It is the middle of the week on a beautiful spring week and looking forward to connecting with you again at the next time. Thanks so much. This is Stacy from Active Riding Trips, hoping that you have a terrific rest of the week and a fantastic weekend coming up. Thanks a lot.